Hi, betting experts. On Derby Day, Saturday, June the 4th, ITV cameras at Epsom. Obviously, five races covered, concluding with the Kazoo Derby at 4.30. A cracking card, complicated by the weather forecast. There's an awful lot of rain in it. Hopefully Epsom will miss the worst of it, but it could get pretty testing quite quickly if it is correct. We start off with our betting expert daily nap in the opening race at 2 o'clock at the Kazoo Handicap, a 0-100 for three-year-olds, over a mile two, and I really like Mr Big Stuff, who's been in the notebook for some time now. He was a huge eye-catcher at Newbury last time out, and very well backed in a warm race won by Israel, travelling strongly under a patient ride, but seeing no daylight at all as the leaders got away and finishing with plenty left in the tank he's open to loads of improvement the yards had a recent winner and they've got some lovely young horses this season i'm confident mr big stuff if he sees light this time he must go close with his mark unchanged he looks a handicapper to follow over the next few months our betting expert value angle selection runs in the 345 at epsom this is the simpex express dash handicap a heritage handicap a class two the fastest five furlongs in the country about 59 seconds they'd normally take it might be a little bit longer if the rain's got in but I think things are set up here perfectly for Mick Appleby's King of Stars. Now, this one has been struggling really to land a blow, but he's shaped better than the bear result on a couple of occasions this season, and his mark's beginning to really slip. I thought he was quite an eye-catcher last time out. There's at least five confirmed trailblazers in this lineup, and if King of Stars can hold a pitch and see some light, a double-figure price looks very fair under Alistair Rawlinson. The other races on ITV, the 235, the Princess Elizabeth Stakes, Group 3 for fillies and mares. Well, I like Tom Ward as a trainer. I think he's going places and his reliable filly Roman Mist returned to her very best form in listed company at Kempton last time out and I thought she did well to win there on the nod in a tight finish having raced up the inside which is usually not an advantage at all at Kempton I think a return to decent turf or a bit of cut in the ground won't um, harm her chances at all she is up in class to a group three but she's tough and battle hardened that could count for plenty here on the undulations the 310 the diamond stakes a group three over an extended mile it looks a match between modern news who i think hardly impressed me when landing odds on at windsor 26 days ago he could be vulnerable and mutter sarbeck looked very unlucky when touched off by lights on in the bet 365 mile at sandown last time out he was cruising when his run was checked and he then lost a bit of momentum before throwing down a challenge just denied up the final climb he's in top form at the moment i think he's got lots in his favor here under jim crowley and at the price is five to two against sort of even money modern news i think you can only go one way the derby at 4 30 we've got a short price favorite for this group one three-year-olds uh, over a mile for massive prize money desert crown of sir michael stout is a horse i've known all about since he won his maiden at nottingham all the lads are on 20 to 1 and downwards for the derby julie won the dante despite drifting quite markedly there pre-race quite impressive but i'm always a bit wary a wide margin winners at york and b his inexperience on this track could count for plenty. He's only had two career runs. It's not the traditional profile of a derby winner. And I much prefer the claims of Stone Age of Aidan O'Brien. Now, he's got a typically strong hand in this event. And this improving three-year-old has really impressed me when making all of the running at Nirvana and Leopardstown. Heavily backed each time. Looking a really straightforward ride. A thorough stayer. He'll definitely appreciate this trip. He's liable to be ridden forwards, which I always think is a big plus in the derby. Out of trouble, out of harm's way whether he's able to lead on his own is another matter but i don't think he'll be stopping up the straight they'll ride him forwards and be attacking and try and expose any vulnerabilities in the favorites armor best of luck with all five itv races on derby day at epsom betting experts 